see situations of chronic food insecurity where we, in some cases, are just accepting that there are some places in the world where people systemically don't have enough to eat. Uh, something about that feels deeply problematic in a world in which we have enough. I'm Hope Michelson. I'm a development economist at the University of Illinois. There's two sort of big areas where I'm, I'm working on um, issues related to sustainability, and they're really at different ends of the continuum in a way that I'll describe. So the first is thinking about the way that climate shocks relate to food security, and in particular, working to build a better early warning system for famine and for other kinds of food security crises. And you know, the early warning system itself is an objective of the research, but we're also engaging in that as a way to understand more the particulars of hunger and to use high frequency data on household food security status to learn about how households are hungry and why they're hungry. A deep motivation of that work for me is that with the increasing um, frequency and severity of in particular weather shocks that are going to affect agricultural production. I think we need to have a better system in place to anticipate food security crises. But then I also think that we need to use this as an opportunity to re-examine how we understand food security itself. The second area is, is, as I said, kind of at the other end of the scale where I've been doing work on supply chains and thinking about the sustainability of sourcing of agricultural products from poor farmers in developing countries. So what that intersection looks like, how poor farmers in developing countries can benefit from being suppliers of agricultural commodities, and what kinds of contracts and relationships seem to lead to more sustainable, more lasting, and more mutually beneficial economic exchange. I think CIRA sitting within the College of ACES at the University of Illinois is particularly exciting because this college and this university has been a home of innovative agricultural research for as long as it's existed. It feels really necessary and it feels like a special advantage that I think that, that we should take advantage of.